Hi, how are you? Welcome to my channel. I hope you're well. So today's video is going to be pretty fascinating because when I discovered this, I was just like, hi. So somewhere around the beginning of 2019 or the end of 2018, I got a link sent to me by a friend of mine uh, who was like, you have to check this out. This is super cool. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it was a link to an interview and a performance um, having to do with River Phoenix and his band, Alec is Attic. So apparently this interview um, was done by a British uh, television company and it was broadcast internationally. I went, hey, cool. So I kept watching. And then eventually on the bottom of the screen, it said live from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I went, dude. <laughs> So that sent me down the rabbit hole because I really wanted to know, number one, if this place st still existed. Uh, number two, if it didn't, what happened to it? And number three, I just wanted to check it out. I was just had a fascination with it. So I was just like, cool, you know, because some of the stuff that I've checked out, I just love. So OMG, <laughs> I went on a quest. This place called Michelangelo's used to exist. That was all I could find. And there were some fan places, you know, fan sites that gave a little bit more information. Like um, it was apparently a benefit concert and uh, for, I believe, the Chattanooga Food Bank or something like that. And uh, it was broadcast internationally. And if I understood correctly, it was broadcast live. Now... I don't know if that's exactly true, but that's kind of my understanding. Even from the interview, I was just like, whoa, really? Okay. <laughs> but so I just couldn't, that was all I could find. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I could find like playlists and even like archived music that used to be played at this place. But of course it wasn't Alex Attic. And I was just like, so I have this friend, uh, another friend that I asked, I was like, she's kind of a local, she grew up here. And I was like, have you ever heard of this place? Watch this video, <laughs> you know? And she was like, oh dude, I think I might know, but let me ask. So she asked around to some of the people in her family and was like, the answer came back with, it's right here. And they had sort of an address and we sat down and we ate and I was just like, asking. I was like, I asked her waiter, do you know anything about this place once upon a time and maybe like the early 90s? And of course he wasn't old enough to remember the early 90s. He might have been born then. I don't know. Um, but he's like, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. Well, the manager didn't know anything. And so I was just like, maybe this ain't it. What's the address here? Uh, 850 Market Street was the address. And I was just like, oh, all right. I know a place where we can find the answer. My friend's like, where? So it wasn't too far from the public library downtown. And I immediately went up to the microfilm section. <laughs> I found a picture of, I guess, an Alec, the back of an Alico's Attic tour shirt that told me what date it was. The benefit was March 1st, 1991. And I found articles from that day and also a couple of days before, which was great. I found, finally, on the live music listings, and I finally found an address, 850 Market Street, uh, which, as it turns out currently, is the address for kind of like a complex that's located in Miller Plaza. We're going to go check it out. <laughs> We're going to go down there and and be in there for a minute. And if anybody asks why, I'm just going to say, hey, you know what happened here, like, a forever ago? Let me just tell you. <laughs> You're better known for your movies, you know, how, has that helped or hindered you with this band? I don't think it really makes a difference. I mean, once, once people uh, uh, see the band and, and hear the music for what it is, uh, all preconceptions vanish. 
So uh, we really haven't run into much trouble in that department. So we're here. It's changed a little bit from the pictures. Let's go. So I just had a little chat with the manager and she told me I could film whatever I wanted. <laughs> so pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure the stage may have been out here. So the first time I came here, I went in through that door right there. <laughs> I, I tried to get as much as I could. It's not a super huge space anymore. I guess like maybe it was, used to be bigger, but it was pretty cool checking it out. So anyway, see you later from downtown Chattanooga. Peace and love. Bye.